Let's talk next about, we talked about, you know, SPF, but let's talk about some other people that are at risk. So people who are at risk for vitamin D deficiency, predominantly those that wear sunscreen, those that limit their sun exposure, but there are a couple of other groups of individuals who are also at risk. African-American dark-skinned individuals are at greater risk because their skin, the pigment in the skin, it, it absorbs UV radiation and doesn't allow for as aggressive of a production of vitamin D. So if you're dark-skinned, you're going to make less vitamin D than if you're light-skinned, if we're talking about minute-for-minute minute sunlight exposure. Other people who are at risk for developing vitamin D deficiency, if you live above 27 degrees latitude, you're at greater risk. You're going to make less vitamin D the further north you are of the equator. And one of the reasons why, uh, and it depends on the season too, like summer months are good months to get out there and get vitamin D, but in the, in the winter and in the, in the early fall when we start, when the earth starts to tilt, the, the zenith angle of the sun coming in, uh, a lot of that UVB is absorbed by the ozone layer of the atmosphere and that prevents people in those areas and those regions from effectively making vitamin D during the winter. So those of you who live, again, 27 degrees north latitude or higher, you are at greater risk for developing a deficiency. Now, there's another group that I think is important to mention, and that's babies, infants. Infants are at greater risk for vitamin D deficiency, typically when they're only breastfed. Now, mothers can supplement with vitamin D, uh, but again, a lot of mothers are told to avoid sun exposure, and a lot of mothers are told to keep their babies out of the sun. Right, And so babies can be at greater risk for developing vitamin D deficiency as well. So my advice to any of you newborn with newborn babies breastfeeding, look, keep breastfeeding, but you may consider, as the mom, you may consider having your levels checked and making sure you're keeping your levels very stable. And if that means supplementation, that's a good thing because then your, your baby will be getting a little bit more. And then also at risk, those at risk are obesity. People that have... Um, let me just draw this out here. Babies, obesity, dark skin. Um, obesity, vitamin D is fat soluble. It stores in fat. So the, the heavier you are, the more vitamin D is stored in your fat and it's not allowed to circulate. I've actually seen people as they were losing weight and really being successful at losing weight, I've seen their vitamin D levels start to climb as they were burning through their fat and it was being released into their bloodstream. So again, if this qualifies to who you are, if you've got any of these conditions, if you fit any of these scenarios, what can you do, right? You, well, you can supplement vitamin D, you can get your levels tested, and you can start asking bigger questions. Of why am I deficient? If it's a lack of sun exposure, start taking care of it. Because remember, it's the catch-22 scenario. Let's say that you're diabetic and you're avoiding the sun. Well, did you know that vitamin D deficiency can actually increase your risk of developing diabetes? And that's part of the problem. Hey, don't forget to check out the rest of the series right here. Make sure you hit subscribe below. And as always, thanks for tuning in.